Downs. With us from Capitol Hill, South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. Sir, always great to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Shep. I, I want to play for our viewers what you said earlier today. Listen. Now, unless you have a complete meltdown, you're going to get confirmed. Uh, and I don't think you will. Broken ankle, but you be and if she doesn't, will you be voting for her, sir? Well, she's got a couple of things to explain to me. Number one, I don't know how I'm going to vote because I haven't had a chance to, to talk with her yet. The, the, the wise Latino comment, uh, circuit court judges make policy. There are some things about her speeches that trouble me, and I'm going to give her a chance to explain herself, and we'll see how she answers those questions. Her judicial record, quite frankly, is left to center, but not out of the mainstream as far as I'm concerned. And so it doesn't really bother you, but the concern, I suppose, would be if now that there are no higher aspirations that some of her personal thoughts might make their way into her opinions on the court. Exactly. Yeah, and I'll just be as honest with you as I know how to be. It really bothers me that a sitting judge would give a speech without the robe on, suggesting that her life experiences makes her better than someone else. Not that it would enrich the course, but that she would be a wiser judge than a white male. That is not what I want in a judge. I think that's highly inappropriate. Everybody deserves a second chance, and I'll give her a chance to explain herself. But that comment, along with some of the other things she said about judging, uh, bother me more than her record. Well, once we get past all that, votes will have to be cast and, and people will have to get on the record. And it's been said here and talked about in right. other places as well that if you, in fact, as a leader in this body and in this process from the right, from the minority, if you were to vote for her, that would give cover to a lot of Republican senators uh, and, and others in public office who are running against Democrats or in a tough position in their, in their districts. Does, does that ring true for you? Well, I'm going to vote based on what I think is best for the judiciary, for the Senate, and for the country. And it might. I, I can't tell you how the politics of how a vote will play out. But I do know this, that Democrats voted for Judge Roberts. He got 78 votes. So I don't want to be the Republican that can never vote for a Democratic nominee because the Democrats won the election. I do want to be able to vote for somebody I trust and have faith in. And I've got to be confident that I trust and have faith in her to try to to play it straight as much as possible, but she's liberal. Did you expect Obama to nominate somebody like I would nominate? No, she certainly definitely left the center, but that's to be expected because the person picking her is left of center. Yeah, so that, that said, your sense of things is that the, the makeup of the court and the kind of uh, judgments that it issues, opinions that it issues, uh, won't change as a result of this switch out, if, if you will. She can be no worse than Souter, <laughs> from my point of view. <laughs> and quite frankly, in the area of the, of the war, she might actually be a trade-up because she said some things about the war on terror that, that are quite pleasing to me. And we're, I'm going to spend a lot of my time talking to her about whether or not we're at war and how the law works in war. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, I'd ask you how many votes you think she'd get, but I know you wouldn't go there. I'm so we'll see you tomorrow and, and watch the process with great know. interest. <laughs> More than 50, I think. <laughs> More, More than 50, indeed. Uh, Senator, very good to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. Another senator, this one from the left coming.